Anyways, well, here's something that I think Canucks fans are going to have to get used to. We'll go to line one, Joey in Boston. It's not Joey <laughs> McDonald, is it? No, I'm actually from, uh, this is Joey from the north end of Boston. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it at all, but it's kind of a famous area here. And uh, how are you guys doing today? We're all doing right? real well, Joey. What do you have to say? Well, listen, in my opinion, you have quit this game before it even started. Bruins lead one nothing. Game hasn't even dropped the puck yet. <laughs> okay? You sent a loud message. You sent a statement. Instead of playing what you think is your best goalie, uh, you, what you have done here is uh, you need these two points more than the Bruins need. The Bruins have won the cup. Bruins need the Joey, no one really they... needs the two points all that much, though. Both teams are pretty safe right, when it comes this, to the playoffs. But this is a mind game. The Bruins have already won the cup. You have won nothing. In fact, I could say this. When I look back at the playoffs, because Luongo is a head case. That's how we look at him here. I, I think it's a cowardly act. Uh, a way to protect a weak-minded goalie that he appears to be, okay? And when, when you're a weak-minded goalie, you don't have much of a goalie there. And here's the way I look at the playoffs. Think about this, and, and you're going to agree with me. You're Canucks. You're a team of individuals. I look at it like you have some nice pieces there. Unfortunately, some of your pieces are square pieces trying to go into a round hole. You have no heart. There are no substance on that team that I'm aware of. Actually, you had the cup there's a won. heart trophy winner. Isn't that pretty much the definition of heart? There's a heart you trophy the, winner on this team. You had the cup won. You had a two-game to none lead. You were playing your game. Hey, hey, your l- game. L- let me ask you a question. Speed. Let me ask you a question. Did, were, were the Boston Bruins throwing in the towel last night by to the Calgary Flames by starting Tuka Rask? Tuka Rask. Throwing a towel. Tuka Rask is the number one goal. <gasps> 29 other teams. Yeah, so is Corey Schneider. So is Corey Schneider. So, so, is Corey, so, is Corey, so is Corey Schneider. So is Corey Schneider. So Rask, why are the Canucks Rask throwing in the towel? Okay, but Rask doesn't have a history of not being able to beat Vancouver. Neither does Corey Schneider. Luongo, Neither does Corey Schneider. The Canucks Luongo, are throwing up throwing in the towel no, in any way. But Luongo is a nice way of distracting me on where I was going with this. But Luongo is your number one goalie. And let me let me just finish this before Quickly, I Quickly, Joey. Luongo was your number one goalie. You should be playing your number one goalie against a number one team. Are you comparing yourself to the Calgary Flames? You're not the Calgary Flames. You're supposed to be the Vancouver Cubs that made the Stanley Cup Finals. Here's the thing you did wrong, okay? Can I just finish before I go? Real quickly, Joey. Okay, uh, here's the thing. You made the fatal mistake last year. You awoke the giant. Remember Tora Tora the movie? You provoked the Bruins. You had them beat. You point the finger at them. You tried to embarrass them. You did the vegetarian comment on national TV. And instead of letting the bear sleep, you poked the bear. You poked the bear. <laughs> you woke the bear. The Bruins handed you your stick and your helmet and sent you back to Vancouver with nothing. With nothing. You Poke the bear. Nobody beats the big bad Bruins in a physical game. Nobody. Thanks for the call. That wow. was that whoa. was something else. So for the for Vancouver fans that think that nothing is on the line in Boston. Wow.